Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be going over the Honeycomb Alpha Flight Control System. I will go over a unboxing of the item, an initial setup, what it's like to get into X-Plane and start flying, and just an overall review during a small flight that I have planned. Please stay tuned by liking and subscribing this video, and I will also be posting this on YouTube and Facebook. All right, let's get in this box. First impressions of the box. It looks very well laid out. Nice graphic on the front. Nice feel. Looks like they went with the quality setup here. Let's go ahead and get it out. All right, so now that it's out, Let's go ahead and take a look. Like I said earlier, it's pretty well well made box. It's got some more graphics on the back. I guess to show the features of the device. Let's go ahead and get in it. So it's got some type of outer sleeve. And okay, let's uh, open the lid here and see what we got. So first look, it looks like we have a instruction manual with some type of little rubber pieces that go to the system. We have a USB cord. Uh, some type of ethernet cord, I'm guessing, to connect something together. A, some type of desk face plate. Looks like it has a uh, very large sticky pad on the bottom. Okay, under the foam. Looks like we have the yoke itself. So let me go ahead and get this taken out. Okay, so the yoke itself is very nicely constructed it's some type of plastic um it feels plasticky but it it's like a very hardened plastic uh first impression of the buttons it feels very good it doesn't feel like a, a cheap device so far uh, it's got one button on the inside of the left hand grip got your buttons um, your switches for starter in here. It's got a nice matte finish to it. Matte or a satin black finish to it. Um, it looks like you got your one Ethernet here. And let's see. And there is the other Ethernet connection. Okay, so that's probably to make the buttons work on the yoke itself. And then it looks like you got some desk clamps here. Let me take that out. Very well made. Um, kind of has a weight of steel to it. Uh, could be powder coated maybe I'm not sure it doesn't look like it would scratch easily though very heavy sturdy let's take a look at the back okay so the back has a USB-C port to it a looks like LED button light and the spinning things that are on the bottom, probably to lock it in. Let's 
go ahead and get it hooked up. All right, so first look at the manuals uh, or manual and partner offers. Looks like they included a nice little book here of their partners in uh, helping selling this. So, yeah, look at that Aerosoft. Couldn't tell who was or wasn't sponsoring them. So this is the instruction manual. Very clear written. I've already browsed through it. Another uh, Aerosoft pamphlet. So I'm gonna try and see if I can go ahead and install this one-handed. And uh, so as you can see, this is the base. This is some type of hook system when you uh, go to clamp it together. Um, as you can see back here, there is a, uh, a 3M gel sticky pad thing. So let me see if I can go ahead and Had re, uh, protective cover removed so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and uh, try and get this thing adjusted on my desk where I think I might need it and I got my yoke or my rudder pedals right below it so let's go ahead and give that a try so so far I mean all I did was just clean off my desk and this this thing is like glued itself pretty much so it's pretty sturdy if I might say, um, and then pretty basic design. Uh, you just take these clamps here, and I think by reading the instructions, you don't have to use these clamps because this is dual mode, uh, I guess, tie down system or whatever it's called. Let's take a look at this dual mounting solution. So, I guess you don't have to use the clamps, but. Knowing me, I get pretty excited when I fly, so I don't want to knock this thing off. Low gaming rig. So, I mean, besides taking the sticky pad off, it seems like, you know, it's very simplistic because I'm for the most part I'm doing this one-handed so I guess if you have one hand you're kind of in luck um forget the desk it's kind of old and basically got the yoke system and then from what I've read it's got this little uh, piece on the bottom And it's like a slot and key system, pretty much. So you just stick it on. It said make sure it locks. I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing that's what it means. It just locks in place pretty well. That was pretty simplistic, if I must say. Well, so as you can see, there's a little bit of a hiccup with it. So let me go ahead and see where it's getting stuck at. So after uh, getting it on the base plate, uh, the where I had the difficulty is, is uh, I didn't quite understand what the instruction manual was saying. Um, but there's these, uh, little screw things back here that you just twist down and it tightens it so that way it can't slip back off the base. And then once you do that, it's, this, this thing is not going anywhere. It is pretty solid. I mean, it's, I'm pretty much pulling and pushing my desk. So overall, I mean, 10 out of 10 for the clamp down. I used to have the old Microsoft uh, 
or the CH products force feedback wheels and everything from back in the day and you know there's just one clamp mechanism on the bottom and if you yanked it too hard you pretty much slid it off of whatever mounted surface you had on this is not going anywhere I mean I could probably pull over my whole desk just by pulling it hard enough so overall very good honeycomb so one thing that I forgot to mention um, when you get everything set up and plugged in uh, there's actually a button on the back side that you hit and it turns the uh, the lights behind the honeycomb to you know set a brightness or turn it completely off um, I guess that's good for a night setting uh, that way you know you can see controls better maybe I don't know it is a cool little effect I'm not saying it's gonna make or break the purchase but uh you know nice to see that little ex extra touch of detail okay so I'm just going through the initial setup uh, after I plugged in the USB-C cable in the back I started up X-Plane and it looks like everything is already configured to go it automatically recognized that it was the uh, honeycomb alpha flight control um, as you can see here I mean everything's already set up so made it very very easy initial initial impression and setup for this uh, yoke Okay, so I'm going to be testing the Honeycomb Alpha with the Airfoil Labs um, Cessna 172. Uh, this is probably the best, uh, I don't know, airplane to probably test this on. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So it looks like um, all the switches work. I do notice that when you click on the alternator switch, it causes the battery to turn on as well. But the battery does not cause the other so that's just probably a setup issue on the um, flight sim itself. Not, no issue on the uh, yoke so far. So let me go ahead with the power, avionics, um, get the beacon going, nav, and let's get this thing started. Let's test out the key. Miami Executive Information Lima. Battery 1800 Zulu low. weather. Engine needs a little Wind more 340 pride. at so 10. Nice. Visibility more than 10. Sky clear. Start up the Temperature 19. Dew point 5. Uh, that's Altimeter 3018. Looking around. Arriving runways 27 or, uh, right. 27 you know, left. Switches Departing runways 27 right. 27 so left. That, that made it very Advise easy. on initial contact you have Lima. Very good control input. Miami Executive I mean, Information like Lima. Skipping a beat. 1800 Zulu weather. That's good. Wind through. Okay, so this is our initial takeoff. Good. 
definitely takes some uh, adjusting to get used to, especially if you're using a joystick most of the time. But other than that, it's uh, it's pretty fluid. that it seems like all buttons are functioned properly once you get the initial setup try and get the view in a little bit like I said it's just a it's an adjustment but so far, I like it. It's just going to take me a couple flights to get used to flying with a, a yoke because I've never had anything besides a uh, joysticks. It seems like it's doing everything I need it to, though. particularly plan any of this so I'm just going with the flow trying to get the initial impressions on what it feels like so I'm going to go downwind from the ramp here not the ramp but the runway and I'll come in for a landing so just something to get used to uh, if you don't trim down pull the throttle back. It tends to rise the airplane in the front uh, and pushing against a spring in this is again something to get used to because it's, uh, it's definitely a new feeling that I'm not, I don't think I've had before. The only other flight system I could compare the spring tension to is the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog. But overall, good job, Honeycomb. I'm impressed. And everything seems to work okay. Beacon, strobe. As you can hear, you can hear it in uh, not only in the background with my switches, but also in the sim itself. Um, let me go ahead and pull back or full rich and get ready for landing. So. I'd say the biggest obstacle to get over at this point is just the, uh, if you've never used a yoke before, get used to that, but the spring tension that it has when pushing forward and pulling.
adjust trim. Overall, I, I think I, I like it very well. Um, I think I'll keep it. Test it out for a little bit longer. Not the best landing, but again, I'm just getting used to this uh, yoke. All right, let's go ahead and stop right there. Okay, so personally, I would recommend this. Um, not everybody is a yoke person. This is definitely my first experience with a yoke. I think I made the right choice and didn't go with some of the uh, Honeycomb competitors due to reviews that I've read and, you know, user feedback. Um, I definitely look forward to using their Throttle Quadrant uh, when it comes out, uh, when it comes out, and go from there. I, I think... This is a very sturdy construction. It's got very good push-pull. The buttons, I mean, it doesn't feel like anything that's going to break soon. Um, I feel like I could probably knock into this quite a bit, and it's not going to damage it at all. It's pretty well uh, cemented to my desk here, even though the desk is a little flimsy. Uh, I mean, I could probably pick up my desk if it was completely empty with this joystick or yoke how it's mounted right now um other than that uh if you if you like this video and the review hit the like and subscribe or the follow button um i'll try to put out more content like this and i look forward to seeing you in my videos and chat when I post live flights and take it easy. Thank you.